Hello again, YouTube. Uh, this is going to be a condensed version of how to set up and utilize Project 64. Alright, so go ahead and download Project 64 and we should be left with a zip file. Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this onto my hard drive, extract it all, and since we're here, Let's go ahead and open it up and we're going to add our plugins right off the bat. So you see we've got the plugin control there. And then there's our plugins that is part of the link. I'm going to go ahead and audio plugins. Click and drag those in. Graphic plugins do the exact same. We put the rice video and Shinyan's soft graphic. These are the two main ones that I'm actually going to use, and that seem to be the best. Uh, the input plugins. I'm going to go ahead and leave uh, the Jabo direct input. I'm going to actually add the Shinyan direct input into the input. All right, so there's our uh, plugins. Actually, you can find other ones on the internet, uh, and whenever you download them, just put the DLL file into the corresponding file. All right, let's go ahead and start it up, shall we? Make sure that this is running as administrator. Go to Properties, Compatibility, and then run this level or run uh, this program as an administrator. Apply it, okay. Let's okay, we're running English. And go ahead and go to options and settings and we wanna change some plugins right off the bat. So uh, I'm gonna go to uh, plugins right here. Glide 64, this seems to be the best. So I'm gonna leave that going right now. Uh, audio, I'm gonna actually change this to Shinyan's HLE. Uh, and then the input, I'm actually going to leave it on NRAGE right now, but Shinyan's direct input actually has an N64 controller, uh, and you can mess with that later. But I'm also going to switch this to Audio HLE, and as you can see, it says that it's a third party plugin, and we need a third party HLE plugin, which we do. So, great, we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And now let's go ahead and change some configuration. So, configure graphics plugin. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch this to. 1360 by 768 or 720p. Uh, and leave this as it is for me right now, and then I'm gonna switch this show uh, texture enhancement options. Go to OK, and now you're gonna have to reopen that again. Texture enhancement, filter. I'm gonna go with sharp filtering one and enhancement HQ4X. That seems to be the best. You can also go with best performance or best quality texture. Uh, and just go ahead and hit OK. Uh, controller plugins. This is actually going to be where you set up your configuration. So right now it's set up as a um, keyboard and mouse. This is where you change it. Um, make sure that it's plugged in, that your uh, drivers are loaded up, uh, and then just go ahead and configure as needed. Um, up, left, right, down. Go ahead and you can switch all these things as needed. Uh, your range, go to real N64 range. Uh, devices, I usually keep the dead zone between 4 and 5 percent, it's up to you. And uh, then controller pack, uh, make sure it's at raw data and depending on the game that you're going to be playing, memory pack, that's actually to save outside of the game cartridge. And then just go ahead and save. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open up RAM, uh, ROM and see what we got. Find out wherever yours are saved for me. And 64 games. Let's go ahead and see what we can get. Let's go ahead and load up some Goldeneye. Boom. There you go. All right. Hope this helped. If, uh, give a like to the video if it helped you out. And uh, subscribe as I'll have other emulator videos.